Hello everyone. Today in this session we will start with email writing. In our last two lectures we had seen what is formal and informal letter writing and what is the actual format for that. Let's start with email writing today. As you all know email writing means an electronic mail. It is the easiest or you can say the cheapest way of communication because here you don't need paper, pen and time to sit and write and then the, paper, the letter will reach after 8 to 10 days and then you'll have to bother whether it has reached or not. Due to some you can say problem it might not reach the desired destination but if you write a mail to that person uh, it can reach in uh, you can say minutes and you can also confirm if you it by getting a reply from that person or uh, you can also confirm it uh, in your mail only they it is you come to know uh, down as you get a sentence that a message sent or mail sent so here it is very easiest and the cheapest way you the cost is also in there is no cost for uh, mailing to uh, anyone here and this email writing children is of two types that is formal and informal here now while writing formal or informal words uh, informal mail you have to keep in mind the language which you are using while writing the mail here when you are writing informal mail either language can be very friendly and casual language but if you are writing a formal mail it should be very professional clear and formal the choice of the word should be very correct there at that time now informal mail can be to your parents to your friends your cousins your relatives and all and formal email can be uh, for business transactions to your so you can say seniors to uh, for any inquiry in any department uh, like electricity board water supply system or you can say telephone exchange system, any other places you can write for formal mail. Today we will see the format. The format is same for formal and informal. The format is same that you have to keep in mind whenever in your exam also if they ask you to write a mail whether it is formal or informal this format only you will use for both the mails here. First is from. You first thing what you will do you will draw a box like this. Then first line will be from that is your sender's email id means the person who is sending who is writing the mail. So your email id will come here to the recipient's email id means to the person whom you are sending the mail. Then afterwards ccc cc is other individuals receiving the same mail. And BCC is other individual receiving the same uh, mail with invisible IDs. Here both this you will just write CC or and BCC and leave it blank. There is no need to write anything here. You can just put these two things here and uh, everything can be blank. But here email ID should be mentioned. That is very important here. After that is subject of your mail. Why are you writing? Whether it is formal or informal. You should mention the subject here. That is very important why the mail is written. Then the salutation. If it is uh, in, uh, you can say uh, informal. So you can write dear, my dear. If it is formal then you can uh, use uh, salutations like respected sir or dear sir can also go with that. If you are writing to your friend you can use hi, hello and all. Then after that the main body of the uh, mail that is introduction why have you written the matter in detail and conclusion after that closing is the ending statement here Com how we in the letter we write complimentary close same here closing then attachment if you want to at attach any file with this mail you can uh, write here whatever you have attached list or invitation card something like that after that signature line Signature line here means what sender's name, signature and other details. So here you have to keep in mind this format is for both the mails, formal and informal. 
for both the uh, mails you have to learn this particular format for writing it in your examination and same way you have to draw the box and write the subtitles like this and then write your mail today now we'll see the samples of both informal and formal email first we'll see for informal email now here this is an invitation for brother's wedding you are going to invite your friend for your brother's wedding so how will you write a mail to your friend nowadays we don't go to that person's house uh, in particular and give them personally now due to mail it has become very easy we can just mail and attach the invitation card printed invitation card with our mail to that person now see here from the person who is sending the invitation name is sunil and the person who will receive the invitation to whom we are writing his name is suresh i have taken this question from your textbook only this is an uh, question which is given to you all in your informal letter writing now children the questions which are given to you all in your informal and formal letter writing same questions you can use for use to practice for email writing also informal email writing and formal email writing the only the change here will be instead of writing uh, in informal letter instead of writing sender's address in informal letter and formal letter instead of writing sender's address here what you will write you will just write email id and this format you will use here so sunil is writing to suresh what is the subject why he is writing the mail to his friend wedding invitation and salutation here it is informal so you will write this dear suresh and the main body of the letter it's my pleasure to invite you with your family on the occasion of my brother sahil's wedding on 23rd december 2020 i have attached printed invitation with this mail your presence with your family will really make this day more memorable to me and my family i have invited all our other friends to looking forward to have a good time with you all the language will be friendly and informal you can say then continue here it's gone on the ne next page so the line is here otherwise in the same para you have to continue to that kindly consider this as personal invitation then the venue you will write because day uh, date you have already mentioned here you will just mention the venue where the wedding will take place closing yours lovingly signature line sunil because it is informal so you just write the first name of the person attachment you have mentioned in the mail that you are attaching the invitation card with uh, this so here you will just write your wedding card i hope you have understood it is very easy to learn you don't have to uh, bother whether to write it on the right side or whether to write it on the left side nothing like that only keep the format in mind learn this format form 2 cc bcc subject salutation main body closing attachment and signature line this is the format both for formal and informal same format you will use for cc and bc you can just keep it blank no need to worry about that after that is the formal mail writing now this question is also from your text itself see here you are tarun khajuria the sports captain of your college write a mail to the general manager of ashoka sports center placing an order for the list of sports item and asking for a discount in the catalog price now the the names are given to you all you have to just assume and write the mail id here so the person who is writing the mail is tarun kajuria you will just write assume tarun kajuria's mail id and write and to whom he is writing he is writing to ashoka sports center so they also all forms they also have their email id so you will write to the ashoka sports center here you will keep cc and bcc blank then what are you writing this mail for you are writing this mail to place an order so just write the play to place an order they very well know because it is an uh, sports center so they know that you will uh, obviously order sports equipment only so just write there to place an order salutation respected sir or dear sir will go here then main body of the uh, letter uh, mail here sorry 
Now here you can write my name is Tarun Khaduria, sports captain of Arham College, studying in the first year of commerce. As per the tradition of our college, this year too, our college has organized inter-sports competition, which is scheduled in the month of Jan. We would need some sports equipments for practice session as well as for the entire tournament. Our college will be representing in four events for boys. They are track athletics, gymnastic, field athletics and Roman rings. Therefore, please supply the necessary equipment as stated in the list. Means you will just tell them, you will inform them whom you are, who, are, who is the person writing. So you will uh, give your reference that you are the captain of the college of first year commerce. And uh, uh, every year your college organizes uh, inter sports competition and this year also they have organized. So you need some sports equipment here for practice session and as, uh, as well as for the entire tournament. And you have named the tournament so they will know that the, uh, the equipments which they have to send will, will be related to this particular uh, sports only. And you have to give the list. So you can just mention here that you have attached the list with the mail here. Because it is a mail. We are not writing a letter. If we write a letter, you will have to write the list there only. And show it in the letter. But as this is mail, you can just write that you have attached the list with the mail. And you have, you have to also ask them to give the catalog of the uh, mentioned equipments on the your email ID you can say. On the above email ID means your email ID and you can also ask them for discount. I hope you have understood this. After that is closing, you will just complete like in the letter we write no complimentary close. Same for the mail, thanking you, yours sincerely. You can say no need of apostrophe here. Then in signature line you can write Tarun Khajuria. You can also mention your email ID here. And you can also write captain of Aram, uh, sports captain of Aram College and you can write your email ID if you want. Uh, it is not very hard and fast here. And after that the attachment. At last you have to mention the attachment what you have attached with this mail. It is the list of sports item. I hope you have understood. It is very easy and very clear. Now see your children. This are uh, the questions which are asked to you all in your textbook. They have asked you all this question for formal letter writing. That is a business letter writing you can say here. See, imagine that you are Karan Bakshi and you have just relocated to Rachi. Means you have shifted your place here. So you have to write to the general manager of Bharat Sanchar Nigam. RP Road, Rachi, applying for the telephone connection here. So same you can use it for... You uh, mail you can say if you want a line line connection or for a safer side in your house so you can just mail them that please uh, we have shifted our place from this particular place to other place so you have to mention the address there in particular so kindly uh, to give us this service you can write letter formal letter also you can practice you can practice mail too see this question I have done with you all now you are Tarun Kajuria, the sports captain of your college. Write a letter to Ashoka Sports Store, MG Road. They have mentioned the address. I have not mentioned address in my, uh, you can say, uh, word presentation because uh, it is. I, I was going to explain to you all how to write a mail. For that, address is not required. But if you are writing a business letter, if you are writing a formal letter, for that, if the letter is, uh, address is mentioned in the question, then you will have to write it. After that, uh, see the same thing, write a letter to the principal of your college re requesting to allow you five days leave, form a letter, you can just may, uh, um, write a mail also, practice mail for that to, uh, on your college uh, website you can, or a college email ID if you have on that, you can write, refer to the principal and all. Same other questions which are given to you all, read it very carefully and try to practice both formal letter writing as well as email writing. And informal letter writing, the questions which were given to you all, you can practice it for informal mail writing also children. I hope you have understood this. It is very easy but practice is required and format should be followed. Examiner mainly pay attention whether students have followed the format or not. If the format is not followed, they will directly give you all zero. 
so please see to it that you learn the format for every for all three letter writing types uh, like formal letter informal letter and as well as for the mail writing also children for the mail email writing also same thing you have to for keep in mind that the format should be followed it is very easy you now you all send the assignments you all uh, send any if you have any doubt you send the mail to the teachers and all so you very well know how to write mail but you have to write here you have to write it on the paper so just kindly go through this particular format and follow the same i hope you have understood thank you